For full project details on the weather booklet, visit RebeccaNewburn.com. This is an introduction on how to set up the weather booklet. Um, you are going to need a 12 by 18 sheet of sky blue paper. I am using a much smaller paper so that it fits on the document camera and you can see it. Um, you're first going to set up the paper landscape way. Once again, portrait is if you were to look at a picture like this. And then landscape is this way. So I've got landscape set up and then I'm going to fold my paper over in half. And the key thing here is to really pay attention to the edges. So I'm first kind of taking one corner and I'm going to really make sure these corners are nice. And then I'm going to kind of push it out and crease it. Crease means to fold. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to really make sure my edges are nice. And then I'm going to kind of push it out and fold. And then I'm going to kind of make sure it's all lined up and kind of push my paper out and I'm going to get a nice crease or fold there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to use the centimeter side and I'm going to make a mark every 9.2 centimeters. I am using a different paper so I'm going to use different measurements than you, but I'll put the marks of what they are. So once again, you're going to do it fairly lightly. So you can um, erase them at the end. I'm going to do them darker so you can see it on the, the, on the video. So let's see. So the, the sizes are going to be, and don't put the numbers down on your paper, it'll be at 9.2 centimeters, 18.4 centimeters, 27.6 centimeters, so basically multiples of 9.2 and 36.8 centimeters. Once again, you are not writing the numbers on your paper and those marks are small. So what you're going to do is where you see that line, wherever you see the little marks that you made, you're going to fold. Um, I like to fold it where it's basically, you know, I'm folding it. So here it is and I'm going to kind of fold it so the outside of it is right there on that little mark. And as you fold, once again, pay attention that these edges are nice and lined up. Um, it doesn't really matter which direction you're folding it because you're gonna have to set it up, at, you know, figure it out all at the end anyways. Once again, looking for the fold, folding right there on that mark. And I'm just kind of unfolding it every time I do it because I'm gonna just work on the folds later. Looking at the next one. There's my little mark, gonna fold right there, making sure my edges are nice and lined up, making nice crease marks. There's my next mark, folding there. Once again, making sure my lines are kind of nicely lined up. Okay, so at this point, I've kind of got something that's weirdly shaped. It does not look much like a book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thing and I'm going to try to make it zigzag. So one side's going to go fold in, fold out, fold in, fold out. So at this point I can see that it's more like this. And then you're going to put it flat on the table and you're going to have the crease that the folded side here. So it opens at the bottom, folded edge here, and it should open like a book. So once again, this would be your title page. Don't write this right now, but it's going to be your title page, and you should be able to open it like this. If it doesn't open like this, it opens the other direction. All you just need to do is just flip everything back, and you'll, um, you'll get it set up. Okay, so I hope that's helpful.